We found this on the beach of the week. So that's an insulin jab, insulin jab. God knows what that is. I'm stopping beach cleaning today. This is my last beach cleaning. Oh, how yeah. come? Because I've spent four years losing. Let's have a look. Wet wipe, nightmare. Now, when I started cleaning beaches in 2014, there was five trillion pieces of plastic in the ocean. As I finished beach cleaning in 2019, them numbers have increased to 50 trillion pieces of plastic in the ocean. You're trying to mop up a flood and the tap's still running and your instincts there wouldn't be to just get the mop out, it would be to turn the tap off. I just pointed out stuff that come from a beach. <laughs> Toy soldiers are always valued by beach cleaners. Lego brick. Uh, this one's full of plastic bottles, I would imagine. Mainly single-use plastic bottles. So, and then my uh, kid's swing, which is a, a huge boy. And this was collected in an hour and a half on North Beach, Aberystwyth. Mm -hmm. There's 1,731 cigarette books in there. This is another sort of reason for me stopping as well, is I've spent far too many weekends away from my kids. And, and my three, you know, walking through Aberystwyth, they're, they're not the only kids in the world that will do it, but they will just stop and pick up a plastic bottle out of the gutter and take it to a bin. So, you do that, don't you, Cal? Sometimes. <laughs> so you wouldn't bring a plastic bottle into the house? <laughs> Would you buy one? Is that true? With you. With me? Do you buy them when you're not with me? Yeah, when I'm not with you, I do. Oh, when you're with who? Mum. <laughs> right, are we ready? Come on then. We're off to Aberystwyth University. Um, so when we get there, there'll be maybe 30, 40 teenagers from Shrewsbury. And then we'll be doing an urban litter pick and then a beach clean. To be honest, it feels a little bit like a relief. To finish losing actually feels quite nice and to not let it all go because it's not a case of letting it all go, it's a case of finding real, you know, environmental actions that actually make an impact. Hello. Hello. You alright? Very well. Nice to see you. Mm. feeling about this about it being his last beach cleaner. I'm gonna cry now. No you're not. I, oh no? No. It's very sad that he's leaving us. But he'll keep doing what he's doing and he's, you do some good work. He's gonna be planting trees instead of beach cleaning beaches. And you understand why he's doing it, yeah. Oh absolutely. Um I completely get the point. Yeah. And I do feel sometimes that what we're doing is it's less than a drop in the ocean. Doesn't mean but it doesn't mean we shouldn't do it. It's not that it's not worthy and it's not that it's not noble. It's not the, it's not the solution. Hi. All right, come in, come in, come in. You guys might not know this, but you are Generation Plastic. Can you hold up your bottle, please? So these guys, Coca-Cola, make 110 billion plastic bottles every year. They take no responsibility for that. In scale, charities are already they're not on the back foot, they're not even in the ring to be honest with you, you know, WWF, you know, you want to sponsor a panda, everything's going extinct. Surfers against sewage plastic free communities, this is just more plastic being made than ever. But they're up against the impossible task, that's, that's my point. And isn't it time that the third sector sort of sat back and asked themselves some really hard questions about are we successful? There you go, there's your plastic free Aberystwyth. She has a plastic yeah, cup yeah, with yeah. a plastic lid and a plastic straw. <laughs> Underneath the flag. Is it meaningless? No, it means to the, to the people that are involved and the people that support it, 
it means a lot because it means that they're doing their best. But when you're talking about 1% of the population and the other 99% are carrying on like nothing's, nothing's happened. Yeah, you know what that is? It's a tampon. Yeah, it's a tampon applicator. Oh, it actually is. It actually is, yeah. Picking it up isn't really the answer. This is to show you guys yeah. the problem. What the answer to that problem is, is the end, really the end of producing yeah. our plastic, which is ultimately a fossil fuel. If you want to do something that's super, super positive, plant a tree. Yeah. For the environment, that would be my number one thing to do. Okay. Outside of going into a shop and opening every single Coca-Cola bottle in there. <laughs> and not buying any of them. Yeah. <laughs> What's that? I would love to go back to beach cleaning in five years' time, knowing that the action that I'm taking, the energy that I'm putting into it, and that everybody else that comes out and volunteers is cleaning the sea. But plastic production and the, the, you know, the lack of recycling is it's so broken that it's just like trying to stop a tsunami with your hand up. It's, it's just not going to happen.